Now, this is going to be kind of interesting, this coffee with, by the way, it's with Helen Hunt and Lisa Nigra. Mm -hmm. We did this before the Oscars. You're going to hear a lot of references to the Oscar broadcast coming up. You will. For one reason or another, we couldn't get this to you before the Academy Award presentation. But it's strong. It's a powerful message, and we decided the heck with the time being out of sequence. It's worth watching. This morning's coffee with is with Helen Hunt and Lisa Nigra. Lisa, Helen, welcome to the Outlandish News Morning Edition. How are we doing today? We're good. We're Thank good. you. You know, this is, uh, as we were describing to the audience, this is a very, very, uh, very, very cool deal. Um, Helen, we'll get to you in just a second. Lisa, former Chicago cop, talking to two news guys here, combined in the business, what, over 65 years of doing news? A long time. I think we're mm. kind of, I, I think every once in a while we can get jaded because of what we do. Mm-hmm. You were a cop. You see the worst of the worst. How did you not get jaded? How is it that you said, I can do better and make a difference? Well, you know, it's interesting. In the Chicago Police Department, when I was there, I actually instinctively knew that you need to surround yourself with positive people and maybe not always uh, be in the, uh, the police realm all the time. And, uh, and so I just always surrounded myself with others, you know, from all different walks of life. And uh, that's how I don't get, I didn't get burnt out. You know what? You are your surroundings. Okay. I'll, I, I can you relate are. to that. And when you're working mm -hmm. on the street, you know, the, I hate to say it, but homeless people kind of get in the, in the way. And instead, you saw them in a, in a much different light. Yeah. You know what? Everyday people can get in the way, too. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't really see people as, like, you know, poor or rich or homeless or not. I see people as people. You know, we're all humans. And, and uh, you know, you can see big executives can be a pain in your butt. <laughs> no, really? Wait we, we, got, we got a couple. <laughs> yeah. 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 I hope he's not watching. Hey, so, Helen, now all of a sudden, True North comes in and says, here's what we want to do. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna throw down some serious coin here during the Academy Awards. I think the second highest cost per 30 seconds next to the Super Bowl. And you, they gave you Lisa's story and said, make this come to life. No pressure, huh? Yeah. Luckily, I didn't have too much time to think about that. Between the amount of time we had to shoot and the fact that it was nine degrees below zero while we were shooting, um, I couldn't worry too much about what anybody else thought. I just wanted to capture the spirit of this in incredibly inspiring person in a t little 60 second movie. Hey Lisa, you work with Jack Nicholson, nine degrees below zero is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. I've, I've always thought directing a movie it must be the hardest job on, on earth, but to get somebody's life story or life's passion in 60 seconds, as you said, wh which is harder, a movie or a 60 seconds? A movie. This was fun, I have to say. We, um, it wasn't like a movie where you are looking down the barrel of months and months of putting your life on hold. I got to work with the cameraman who shot Then She Found Me, the, wor uh, the movie I made last year. Um, Lisa was wonderful to work with and we all got excited about making this little documentary about what she's doing and how she feels about what she's doing. But 60 seconds still sticks in my mind. It yeah. Jeez, we're looking at this video on the LaSalle Street Bridge <laughs> and having yeah. gone to school in <laughs> Illinois and Don being from near Lake Erie, man, I just got that. Phew. I'm going to call it the Windy City. For yeah, that. man, that was yeah. cold. That was cold. Hey, uh, It was very windy. It was. A friend of mine looked at the temperature on the Internet and it said 9 below, and he sent me a text and said, that's not even a temperature. What is that? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, you know, some, to some people in Montana, that's like, you know, let's put on the shorts and go out and catch some rays. Yeah, that's not me. Yeah, we were not in shorts, yeah. that's for sure. Okay, now, okay, are either of you going to be at the Academy Awards? I'm not going to be at the Academy Awards. No, we're going to actually have an Oscar party uh, in Chicago with the guests of the cafe and uh, the staff, and we're going to have a very good time. Helen's going to be in her pajamas eating popcorn. I am. And mm -hmm. I'm going to be at the black tie party. <laughs> there you go. Listen, right. That sounds way cool. Okay, we've got the website up, truenorthsnacks.com, 100% natural. Find your True North. Lisa certainly did, and with uh, Lisa's help, so did Helen. Ladies, we have to run. Thank you very much for your time. And we'll Thank be you. Thank we'll, you. We'll be seeing you later. Thanks. Bye bye. That was right. Yeah. Right. Very good. Listen, it's a cool website. There's all sorts of other people who didn't get their didn't get their. Um, yeah, there was a nationwide search. Nationwide search. And all year. these yeah. stories are really really cool. So check them out. All right, we've got traffic. We got first morning weather and more as the morning edition continues right after this.